Howdy! It's Jim Arado, and this is July 2023. We're in Oxford, Mississippi, a wonderful town. M more on this town later. I, I loved it. Uh, we were actually staying at the inn at Old Miss, and they had a wonderful shuttle driver named Phil, who uh, a couple of different times took us back and forth to the square where we're at now, and you know he came and picked us up later but but this is a great town this is a great area we were just blown away by everything especially square books and I, I didn't really film inside of square books I took some pictures but I wanted to I wanted to mention them because man did I love this place and as a fan of books this is the kind of place that I could uh, I can get in trouble here easily it's uh there were a ton of things I wanted to buy and I looked around and I made some selections, um, but I sure could have bought a whole lot more. There were books here that on a normal day I would have bought um, at any other bookstore, but because I had so many choices, I passed on some books. Uh, one thing I liked, they had a whole lot of signed books, a lot of books signed by the author, and I, I always love that. I think that's, um, I, I don't know why more small bookstores don't do that sort of thing. So I, I ended up buying several books and I bought some of their stickers. I bought some of their other little items. I just I just really like this place. They had several first editions signed by John Grisham. I'm not a John Grisham person, but uh, I thought, you know, I, I can't pass that up. And they had uh, a great local selection. Of course, Faulkner, William Faulkner is from the area. So they had a huge selection of Faulkner books. And uh, the Square Books is actually several different stores. You know, it's all under the same umbrella, but there's several different stores. And this is the main store that we're in at the moment. Then they also have, um, still on the Square, but, but uh, several doors down, they have a, a children's bookstore. And then they have kind of a discount bookstore. And then they also have like a collectible bookstore. Unfortunately, the collectible bookstore closes a bit early. And I did not get to... That's the only one of their stores that I didn't get to stick my head into. And that that was unfortunate for them because they would have made a lot of money off of me, I'm sure. Uh, I'm, surely I would have used restraint, but I, I'll, I'll look forward to looking... At, uh, at what they have to offer there next time I'm in town. Yeah, Square Books Junior, that's their, uh, you know, kids' bookstore. And right beside it was the collectible bookstore. You have It's kind of on the second floor of another building. Gorgeous little downtown area here. We had a really nice meal at Ajax. And we had some nice meals at the uh, Inn at Ole Miss, too. And this is just a great area. I was really this. This is an area that wasn't even on my radar until recently, and I'm I'm really impressed with Oxford. I, I get it. And it's kind of a hidden thing. I know a lot of people don't spend their vacation time in the South in Mississippi, but this this is a place I plan on going back to. A great area for authors to come in and do little presentations. You know, obviously they have signings at Square Books frequently. But yeah, I, I love this place. Um, do, do you live in Oxford? Do you go to Square Books often? Let me know what you think. Let me know what I missed. Uh, because this, this was a real treat for a book fan like myself.